No, oh, rabbit don't care. He comes right up to the porch eating his grass. And he's looking at me, he's like, What are you doing? And he don't even mind. Hi, little rabbit. I'm waving to him, he don't even give a shit. I don't know what he's eating, I think he's eating the weeds. And also close to the sidewalk. Yeah, he's eating weeds, he doesn't even eat grass. A good thing to keep rabbits around the weeds and you don't have to go through your yard and pick them out. That's just one there, uh, one thing nature provides you with, natural weed eaters. Trim your grass, eat your weeds. Just gotta make sure you keep your garden, uh, fenced off or them little buggers will get in there and eat your strawberries. Yeah, I've caught them rabbits a couple times trying to eat strawberries. He got big long legs. If I go out there and it'll take off. Let's take a look here. See how fast we can get him to run. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's in a hurry. And he's gone. Hey little rabbit. You want some cookies? On carrots? Little rabbit want a carrot? Oh, he's scared. He spooked me. And he's off. Off to the woods. That's a natural defense they've plugged in from hundreds of years of people hunting them and killing them. When the Americans first came here, rabbits were not afraid of people. They would actually come to your camp and hang out. But... Now that we have so many cars and people hunting them, rabbits, will act, they actually fear people to the point where you can't get around them. Now, mind you, you can domesticate rabbits to a point, and uh, they'll be more friendly, but it's hard to do unless you catch them as when they're a baby. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of rabbits around this area. Cats enjoy watching them. Sorry for the shaky video, but I'm on my Garmin phone. You see Randall Cat here. Oh, Randall Cat. He's, on, he's feeling sick earlier. He's got a runny nose. He's got a sinus infection. He likes being petted. 